Okay. The mixed gender MSA thing, I'm going to do a whole thing on this one. I'm going to do a whole program called Shame. Just on this. Just on, first of all, how does Quran talk about shame? And where is it compromised for Muslim youth uh, that are religious and that are not religious? There's two kinds of Muslim youth, right? So I want to try to address both of them. And inshallah ta'ala, maybe offer some Quranic advice about these kinds of situations. More often than not, these are moral uh, stances than fatwas. If you understand the moral guidelines and you can stick to them, you'll be fine. And if you don't understand them, you'll have problems. And here's just one moral guideline that I'm going to be sharing in the future. I'll just give it to you now. If you're standing there talking to some guy, sister, if you're talking to some dude on campus, uh, and somebody from a distance can get the wrong idea Like if your father was watching from a hundred feet away and he would like be like what's going on over there? Or your brother would get the wrong idea or your husband would get the wrong idea Then you probably should not be in that situation Okay, if it can be misinterpreted then you shouldn't be in that situation So that's kind of a litmus test sort of thing as far as conversations are concerned if you're completely comfortable having a conversation with a non-mahram in the same exact way if your father was standing there and your, your tone wouldn't be any different, your body language wouldn't be any different, the words you use would be no different, then go ahead. But if you think that if your dad was standing there or your husband was standing there or your brother was standing there or your grandpa was standing there or let's just say if I was standing there, okay, a grandpa, me, you know. so. And your, your, your tone, your, your, the way you carry yourself, your inflections would Im be impacted even a little bit, then probably you should not be in that conversation. These are good, easy litmus tests. They're not a fatwa, they're just litmus tests. Because you know, if you think it's not, I'm not doing anything wrong, then why are you changing your behavior if your dad's there? If it's not wrong, why are you so ashamed of it? Why are you so shocked by it? You see? So your inter inner conscience is telling you there's something up. Um, but I won't go further in that one. That's a, that's a big one though. I do res respect that that's a big problem.